All right, everybody, how's it going? We have some news from around the NFL. This is probably something you've probably heard by now, or at least it's probably trickled into your news feed at some point because it happened pretty early this morning or kind of later last night. I wasn't really sure the exact time, but uh, Frank Gore tells the San Francisco 49ers podcast that he will be signing a one-day contract with the 49ers and will officially retire from the NFL. He finishes his career with the third most rushing yards in NFL history at 16,000 even. Uh, what a run. Yeah, that's basically yeah, that's basically the summation of the video. It's it's going to be kind of like looking at some of the career stuff that uh, Frank Gore has accomplished during his pretty legendary career, I would say, uh, of 18 years in the league, which is pretty astounding for an uh, NFL running back. Which I think they average like three to five years, and especially like being a decent or relevant running back, it's like a three-year window for most guys. Like it's the first couple years of their career, and then maybe a, a year or two into the uh, second contract, and then it's like. If they last longer than that, you got yourselves a Hall of Famer. And then, of course, we see someone like Frank Gore, who performed pretty much throughout the duration of the 18 years, maybe a little less toward the end, of course, when he was, you know, in his mid 30s as a running back, um, you know. And, and the reason I feel like it's crazy that he lasted 18 years is because at a position where it's like three to five years seems to be the norm, um, you know, because and being good is only a few years of that even. Uh, it's pretty crazy to look at and then go, wow, that's. It's crazy that despite all the hits and all the games he's played, being one of the most hit players on the offense and all the carrying and just uh, just the, you know, the being so dependent on the offensive line to not get hurt. It's just so many different things can shorten a running back's career and relevancy that it's just like, wow, this is pretty crazy. He even lasted through like the change of running backs becoming more receiving and was still able to be relevant as just a more strictly running running back. Um, it's, it's, it's what a career. I mean, uh, we can look at more of his numbers here in a second. Um, here's just a little bit from, that was from uh, field Yates. This is Adam Schefter. Uh, who would have thought that the running back who would go on to become the NFL's third all time leading rusher from a 2001 Miami backfield that included Clinton Portis, Willis McGahee and Najee Davenport would turn out to be the fourth string Frank Gore. So basically out of that 2001 Miami backfield, they had Portis, McGahee and Davenport. And the best one of those, I mean, honestly, turned out to be Frank Gore. Try to, I mean, he was there. Yeah, they, I mean, this is like an all-time running back. <laughs> Everyone's just like, well, he played for forever. His freshman year, uh, they thought he was the best back on the team, but he tore his knee up if I remember. Oh, okay, so it was one of those situations. Yeah. Look at that. Look at these guys. <laughs> Fitzpatrick started in 2005. He's still playing. Frank Gore started all them, all them years ago until today. Just a lot of people are pretty much just giving him praise because, you know, it is one of the better players of all time. Uh, we can look at his numbers really quick. Uh, let me. He retires after a long time in the NFL. Let's see. That's 10, 3. That's 13, 14, 15, 16 years in the NFL, it says. And I guess I, I don't think he played in, in a couple years there. Like 2021, he didn't play, obviously. Uh, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five-time Pro Bowler. So that's pretty great. Well, I mean, we'll look at the uh, highlights in a minute here more. Um, played in 241 games as a running back. Started 218 of those. Rushed the ball 3,735 times for an even 16,000 yards. 81 career touchdowns. He had 731 first downs. He has a career long of 80 yards, uh, 4.3 yards uh, per attempt. So yards per carry was 4.3. Uh, yards per game was 66.4. Um, attempts per game was 15 and a half. He had 697 targets, caught the ball 484 times for just under 4,000 yards. So oh, just about 20,000 career yards for Frank Gore is pretty great. Um, let's see. He has 98 career touchdowns total with 18 receiving. So he, I feel like there has to be something where he's just a bit short of 100 t career touchdowns. That's pretty crazy. 99 rushing and receiving career touchdowns. Damn. 19,985 career total yards. Pretty crazy. Pretty good career. Barely missed any time. The only time he really missed games was his first year. And then if you look at that, it goes 
played in 16, 15, 14, 14, 11, which was 2010, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 15, and 14 one year. So toward the end of his career, I mean, this guy was literally the definition of what a dependable football player was throughout the duration of his career at one of the hardest positions to be one of those players. So uh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I think he's going to fall just short of his playing with his son in the NFL. Um, damn, I think he just missed playing with his kid. Uh, here are some of his career awards and highlights. NFL records and, of course, 49ers franchise records where he will retire um, as a member of their team. He's a five-time Pro Bowler, as we said. Uh, 2006, 2009, 2011, 2012, 2013. So he went to three straight. Um, second team All-Pro in 2006. NFC champion in 2012. The 49ers lost that Super Bowl. Pro writers, football, Pro Football Writers of an America, uh, uh, Writers of America, All NFC in 2006. Pro Football Writers of America, Most Improved Player of the Year, which was in 2006. 10,000 yards rushing club. He's also in the 15,000 and 16,000 yard club. Um, 2016 Art Rooney Award for Outstanding Sportsmanship on the playing field, including fair play, respect for opponents, and integrity in competition. Most consecutive seasons with at least five touchdowns, 11 tied with Tara Lowens, Marvin Harrison, Tim Brown, Chris Carter, Jerry Rice, and Don Houston. I believe all of those guys are Hall of Famers, except maybe Don Houston. Uh, first player in NFL history with con 12 consecutive 1,200 yards from scrimmage season. So that's pretty great. Good, good, what, a, what an accomplishment. That's a... Uh, it's a lot of yards and a lot of seasons in a row. That's 12 seasons with at, with at least 1,200 yards from scrimmage. One of five running backs in NFL history with at least nine 1,000-yard 1000 uh, yard seasons. Joining Emmett Smith, Hall of Famer, Walter Payton, Hall of Famer, Barry Sanders, and Curtis Martin. I'm not, is Curtis Martin a Hall of Famer? Why do I not know? Okay, he is. That's what I thought. I was going to say, he's got to be in there. Uh, one of four running backs in NFL history with 15,000 career rushing yards, joining Emmett Smith, Walter Payton, and Barry Sanders. Third all-time in career rushing yards. So, yeah, he's a, I mean, he's a bona fide Hall of Fame lock. It's always the fun thing of first ballot or not, and I think uh, Frank Gore is probably a first ballot with these kind of accolades backing him up. Uh, most seasons with 1,200 yards from scrimmage, 12. Most consecutive seasons with at least 500 rushing yards uh, uh, or yards rushing, 16. These are his NFL records. Most consecutive seasons with at least 600 yards rushing, 14 of those. Most consecutive seasons with at least 700 yards rushing, 13. He's tied with Emmett Smith. Um, most career games by an NFL running back at 241. That's uh, I don't see that record probably getting touched in a very long time. And first, as it goes with the 49ers. Um, it'll be most rushing yards in a career, 11,073. Most rushing yards in a game, 212 in week 11 of 2016. Uh, most 100-yard games in a season at 9 at 2000, or 2006. Um, most uh, rushing yards in a three-game span, 505. Most consecutive games with 100 yards, 5 weeks 4 through 9 in 2011. Most rushing yards in uh, in a season, he had 1695 in 2006. Most rushing yards in a season, uh, 2180 in 2006. Obviously, the 2006 season for Frank Gore was quite great. Uh, this was his breakout year where he went for, again, 16, 1695 yards, 5.4 yards a carry. Uh, had only eight touchdowns, but he had a lot of yards, so... Uh, yeah, that's that's Frank Gore for you. I mean, that's going to be it for him. A guy who started his career all the way back in the year 2005 and played till 2020 and uh, retires in 2022 where he'll sign a one-day contract with the 49ers. And I think it says that he plans on joining the front office is what his his plans are. So, um, yeah, he plans to like join the front office in some capacity, so he still plans to be a part of the Niners. He's signing the one-day contract, and that's about it. That's the uh, legendary career of Frank Gore coming to a close. Good for him and a long, long, healthy career. And, uh, I mean, hopefully he succeeds in whatever he does outside of football. I know he did the boxing or, or he has a boxing match coming up, or I don't really remember what happened with that one. Um, I think he may be I don't, rem I don't, I don't remember. I didn't look it up. But, I mean, good luck to his kid, and uh, hopefully his kid enjoys some of the same success his old man enjoyed. So uh, let me know your thoughts down below on the career of Frank Gore. Did you like him? Did you hate him? Is he overrated? Are the numbers only so high because he played so long, even though we went over all his accolades to kind of disprove that? Um, 
I guess uh, let me know what you think, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. We do uh, NFL news when we see a story that's you know big enough to cover or worth covering anyway. So Frank Gore calls it a career, everybody. Uh, we don't have to worry about if he's going to come back and pop up out of nowhere on like the I don't know, like the Cowboys out of nowhere or something this year. So Frank Gore calls it a career. What a what a run, what a run for a, a running back. <laughs> Get it? All right. See you later. Thanks a lot for listening. Peace out.